Hi guys, I'm filming back-to-back -back tag videos with the same makeup and the same sweater that now has a little snag in it because my cat was all over me earlier, so refer back to my truthful YouTuber tag <laughs> to see how that drama went down. But without further blabbering, I'm going to get into the beauty kindness tag. And I saw this on Georgia Harris's channel, and I will go ahead and tag the creator of the tag video as well as Georgia's video and if you guys want to create this go ahead and do so and let's get into the questions because some of these are a little bit hard so let's get into it so the first question and this is kind of like a I don't know how to explain it but it's an interesting tag it's just kind of giving people shout outs the first question or the first category is creators that have mentored or helped me um, so mentored or helped? Uh, I don't think I have anyone for that category really. I don't really have a YouTube mentor. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers I look up to and I get a lot of great ideas and inspiration from their content, but I've not ever had somebody like take me under their YouTuber wing and teach me the ways of YouTube. I would say my mentor is definitely my husband. He's the one that taught me how to use iMovie and like film on my camera and so yeah he doesn't have a YouTube channel though but I'm gonna give him that shout out because he definitely deserves it number two creators that have been a great friend to me I think right away the one person that comes to mind is Kat from Rented Fashion um, I think she found my channel I don't even know how we found each other but she's amazing and I remember when we first started talking, I'm like, why is this girl like talking to me? I don't understand. Like I'm literally like a nobody. And her channel was full of like fashion and just great. Like I really enjoy her channel. I still do obviously. But yeah, I just remember her reaching out to me and we are trying to meet up in person, but we talk, we text. The one thing that really like stuck in my brain was last, well, this January, when YouTube was um, revamping the AdSense and like monitor monetization program, um, people were gonna lose monetization on their channels. And I was really close. Like I had talked on my stories maybe about not knowing what the hell was happening. And I'm like, I don't really know. And Kat's like, girl, you're so close. Like tell all your friends and family to watch your YouTube channel. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't really have like, a lot of support as far as like YouTube goes and like friends or like people in my area so she literally would send me like pictures of like her iPad set up and like her cat and she'll be like oh my cat's watching your YouTube videos it was so cute like she literally had my videos playing on like her laptop her iPad probably her phone and like I swear she and my husband literally watched like all my YouTube videos and got me to that like hundred and something thousand watch minutes that you had to have to stay in the program and because of that I'm still able to you know monetize my videos and get some AdSense <laughs> so that definitely she's just been a great friend and I hope that you know that's somebody I can keep um, getting to know and just growing our friendship and I love her so much. So um, the next question is creators who inspire me with their artist, artistry, <laughs> artistry. Um, okay, so this one, I feel like I talk about her all the time, but I can't help it. Angelica Nyquist, and she just made me come out of my box. My box was neutrals. I don't even, I can't even tell you guys if I used to wear color. Like, I really just don't know. And... I don't know, after watching her, you know, over the summer and like for as long as I watched her, she really made me not be afraid of wearing colorful eyeshadows. I would hate to wear like light blue eyeshadows, like the seafoam, greens, reds, like I would never, you know, and just how much I love color now and how unafraid and unapologetic I feel for wearing colorful eyeshadow looks. I really, I really appreciate that. I also really like Desi Perkins makeup looks because I think, I don't know what she does, but 
Her makeup just always just looks so flawless. I even love her when she just does like the no makeup makeup look. Like someday I just want to look like so flawlessly beautiful and just like look like I don't have makeup on but really I have makeup on. I don't know. I think that's like really really cool. So I love that. The next question. Creators that inspired me to start YouTube. I'm trying to think if that was... It. I don't even know you guys how I got on YouTube. I looked it up. I think I joined YouTube in... Let me see, because I can look it up on my... On my um, creator tab or something. On my channel tab. Teddy, that's enough. It never ends with these. Where is it? Oh, I think it's on analytics. Teddy. Stop it. Okay, so I joined YouTube on June 15th of 2011, and I don't know who I was watching. I feel like I found the beauty community after I had joined YouTube and started my own channel, because I originally... Oh, God. I originally started a channel to kind of do, like, fashion-type videos, and I didn't really start making beauty YouTube videos until probably like 2012 or 13. And then it really amped up after I met my husband because he was so supportive and kind of showed me his ways. And then I um, was on and off. And now I've been filming more consistently, but that wasn't always the case for me. So yeah, I don't really have a specific person that I could point to. And the next question is, creators that inspire me with their content and video quality. Uh, video quality, I have to say, like, the bigger YouTubers, I, like, holy crap, they're lighting. And, like, I know I have the potential to do that in this room, but, oh, God, you guys, I dislike technology so much. <laughs> like, I, yeah. So, like, for me to sit and learn to use this camera... Just sounds like maddening and like I could I should save up for like an icy camera someday but this one works fine I like my video quality <laughs> also I watch a lot of YouTube on my phone so I hardly ever notice like weird stuff unless I'm watching it on like a really big screen who has good video quality I mean I think a lot of the people I watch have good video quality Angelica has really good video quality I feel like I really like to watch let me look on my subscription list because I'm really sucking right now. I think Andrea Matigliano has good video quality. I like her channel. Mel Thompson, I think, does a wonderful job with her videos as well. They're very well lit, etc. Maybe I'm taking that question very literally and answering like it's a science experiment. <laughs> Next one. Creators that make me feel good when watching their videos. Like good, like, oh wow, they're so wonderful. I think... Everyone I watch, for the most part, I don't know why I wouldn't watch um, people that didn't make me happy, but I love watching, again, Angelica. I just think you can just see, like, the passion um, with makeup for her, so I love watching her. I actually really like watching Kathleen Lights. There is a bit of drama with her back in the day, but I kind of got over it, whatever, like, the whole thing with Jacqueline Hill and her, but for the longest time, I've always enjoyed watching her. I don't know if it's an act with her, but she comes off as so down to earth. Like she actually feels like you could meet her and she's so big, but she seems like you could meet her and she'd still be really friendly and just kind. And I love that about her channel. Um, so she really makes me feel good when I watch her channel and I love her, like all her little phrases. Like, I don't know. I think she's really, really cute. And so she's probably my number one person that makes me feel good when I watch her. Favorite creator for luxury brand reviews and coverage. I actually watch a lot of like luxury fashion. Like actually I watch a lot of luxury like brand purses and stuff videos. So I am obsessed with like Lydia Elise Millen, Millen I think. She's gorgeous. I love her channel. Um, I just love her like high end purses, fashion style videos. Um, for makeup, I... <sighs> I don't, obviously, I don't buy everything luxury. I buy, like, Pat McGrath palettes, but that's about as, like, luxury as I get. I've been getting into Michelle Wong, Wang, Michelle Wang. 
damn it, I forgot how to say her name. Um, she is just so proper. <laughs> I love her style. I love the way she talks. She's so just like calm and you feel like you're in the presence of like a grown ass woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's not like bouncy, bouncy, bouncy all over the place. She's very like, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this Surat Beauty Concealer and da 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 and I love it. So hopefully that answers that question. And then the next question is, creators that I go to for expert advice will research videos. Again, I, I would have to say Angelica, I love watching her reviews. I think she's very, you know, she's not like over the top in detail. She gives me like the cliff notes, which is what I need. I used to love watching Stephanie Nicole's reviews. I don't think she's done many in a while. She does, like, she definitely convinced me to buy the I Love Sarai Dose of Colors collab. So I still do go back to her, but I feel like ever since she moved from San Francisco to LA area, she's been doing a lot more other stuff and I haven't really seen a lot of her on YouTube, but her reviews are on point, I must say. Um, and yeah, I like Angelica. I love, I really like watching and hearing a lot of people's reviews. I like watching Andrea Matiliano's reviews because she's, again, also very thorough, I think. And anyone that sits and, like, swatches the palette and uses, like, a brush, a finger, a toe, your grandma's toe, like, the amount of energy that goes into videos like that, I appreciate. I'm sure there's thousands of people I'm forgetting to mention in this video, but I'll try and remember. If I think of anyone else, I'll link their channels in the description box. And then the last question, creators that make me laugh, I have to give this one to Nisi Pisa. Is that how they say it? N Nisa? Um, she is so funny. I f like, I remember when I first heard her mentioned and I checked out her channel and I went back to her channel and now I just, oh my God, I just love watching her talk. She's so funny. Her, like, the way she talks, it's like, did, I was like, did you plan to be that funny? Because, like, I think I'm funny. She's fucking hilarious. Like, she could be, like, a female stand-up comedian, I feel like, because she's just that funny. She's so intelligent. Like, she's intelligent funny. She's not, like, dumb funny, which I feel like I'm probably dumb funny, but she's, like, smart funny, and she just the words just, like, flow out of her. Um, Georgia's, like, video that she did... George is funny too. I'm just saying the one video that just made me laugh so much was the one she did like a little sketch where it was like what you would have to like my requirements to do a sponsored video. That was hilarious. Like her sense of humor in that just like cracked me up. Like I want to make a video like that because that's like my type of humor. So yeah, if God, oh, I love the fancy face. When she gets wound up and her Jamaican accent starts flowing, she kills me. Oh my god, and how can I forget makeup struggles? Makeup struggles, I, oh, <laughs> makeup struggles makes me laugh. Like, I remember some of her videos, her, like, take no shit from big YouTube brands, YouTubers, etc. videos. So funny. Like, <laughs> she's, like, one of the OG funny people for me on YouTube, so... I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I think I covered everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beauty kindness tag and hopefully it inspires you to make this and share some channels, you know, show some people some love. I think that uh, we all get into that rut where we mention the same like channels over and over again. And I have been trying so hard this year and I'm definitely going to focus on it in 2019 to try and meet as many people on YouTube as I can, try and collab with as many people on YouTube as I can because I think that's the best part of YouTube for smaller creators is like meeting different kinds of people from different parts of the world, different parts of the country, people with different opinions than you. So I think if you get the chance, make this video because you know, you might make somebody's day by mentioning them in this video. I know like whenever somebody mentions me I like lose my shit like just makes me happy like to know that somebody like watches my videos and cares about my what I think you know. Anyway I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. 
I am so excited for my birthday, so excited for New Year, and yeah, just excited to see what the world has in store for us in 2019, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Teddy, say bye! Boy! He just can't. Right